Hello children and my dear parents. Greetings of the day. Namaste. I hope everyone is doing great. And today I'm here to tell you about very, very interesting thing that is about playing cards. Now, you know, like from childhood, I was being told no to not play with the cards because this is not a good thing. Yes. I was being always being warned that do not play with the playing cards because I was being given the information only in one direction that they are bad because people are there who play the cards for gambling and that is not good. But let me tell you students, there is lot of lot of interesting things we can learn with these cards if it is not being used or it is not being related to money then. And of course, there can be lot of mathematics we can learn here. We can learn lot of magical tricks here with these cards. So they are fantabulous source of information. They are fantabulous source of learning lot of things provided we are not using them for any sort of money purpose. Great. So let's move ahead and let's learn about these cards. So when we say a deck of cards or when we say a pack of cards, so we try to say that this deck of cards or a playing cards or a pack of cards, they consist of 52 cards. Okay. So they consist of 52 cards in it. So let me tell you in today's session, all brief, all explaining about all these kind of cards, what are they being called, so that in the coming sessions and coming videos, I will be able to explain you different games, different tricks, which we can learn from them. So first of all, we need to understand what these cards are to be called, what are their names, how many are there. So everything I will be to, I'm not giving today in details. So this card, this pack of cards consists of 52 cards. Now, in this 52 cards, if you just look in this picture, you can get here two colors mainly, right? So, out of this 52 cards, and they are being very, very helpful. Trust me, okay, when you will be learning probability, okay, they are being so helpful. And apart from that, also, we have plenty of their uses. So, 52 cards are basically divided into two parts, okay? One of 26 cards. Another set is of all 26 cards. Now, in this 26 cards, we will find the cards are being black in color. Okay, we'll find black in color. Fine. The other 26, we will find it's being red. Red symbols are being given. Okay, red in color. We can find some red patterns being forming there. So, yes, yes, we will be discussing everything. Right? So, all in total, we have 52 cards. Out of that, we have 26 cards, which are black. And the other 26, which will be having red in color. Something it is going in your mind. Let's search uh, some pictures I, will, I am or we are being able to see on some of the cards. Yes, I will be talking about that also. Fine. So, we'll be going further. So, now we have understood it's 52 cards that's being divided into 26 black, 26 red. Now, out of this black and red, we find there are four suits. We say it's just four suits of card. Now, this 26 can be divided as 13 each. Okay. So, in black, we have 13 as a club and 13 as spade. In the red part, we'll be having 13 as diamond and 13 as hearts. So, all in total, we say there are four suits of card. So, let us see. So, what the spade that we can see here, invert, you know, a kind of a leaf it looks like. So, spades are the black card that may represent the warrior class and the problems of life. So, these cards are not of today's. It has been used for generations. Okay. Then clubs, a black card that may represent the peasantry and achievement through the work. Then if we talk about hearts and diamonds, these are the red cards. So hearts represent the clergy and struggle to achieve inner joy. 
and the diamonds are the red color cards that represent the merchant class and the excitement of wealth creations. So what we'll be remembering is our 52 cards being divided into two parts as a 26 each or we can say this 20, 52 cards being divided into four suits of card of 13 cards each. Now what are there in these 13 cards? Let's look at that. So in this 13, okay, of each suit has numbered as A, okay. Now one is being represented as A and A stands for Ace, okay. So we'll never find number one being written. Instead of that, it's A written. A stands for Ace. Next, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So these are all in total. 10 cards but I said that there are 13 cards so we will be finding in each suit three cards will be there which will be having some face okay so they are called as one J and Q and a K so J stands for Jack Q stands for Queen and K stands for King so in each suit we will be having three faces in each suit we will be having three faces J, Q and K. That stands for Jack, Queen and King. Now students, can you tell me how many such cards would be there where J, Q and K would be written? Can you write on the comment box? Yes, absolutely. It's 12 because there will be three cards in each suit. So we will be having the clubs having three face cards. Spade will be having three face cards. Diamond would be having three face card and your heart would be also having three cards. Okay, three face cards. So all in total, we say there are 12 face cards. Okay, so this is all about your different type of cards we have in our pack of cards. So 52 cards once again getting divided into black cards and red cards. Black is having the spade and club. Red cards having diamond and your hearts and each suit is having 13 cards out of which we have A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and J, Q and K. So this pattern is same followed for our spade again for hearts and for diamonds and trust me they are being very very useful in the upcoming videos definitely student I will be coming with lot of magic tricks which you will be learning and get fascinated again there are questions coming from probability when we learn probability there lot of questions are being arised through this lot of questions are being made through this card and once these card becomes on our fingertips if you are being aware of these it becomes very very easy to solve questions so i guess you all enjoyed the information and the tricks shared today. So for such amazing videos, you can join a course that is OMM Level 3 that has already started on 11th November 2024. In this course, you will be getting 30 live sessions where you will be having a facility of 24 into 7 replays. Replays, you can watch it at any time, any moment. And the classes are going to be held on Monday and Wednesday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Along with that, your 30 live lectures, you'll be also getting five part syllabus objective test and two full syllabus test. And students, this is a very, very crucial time. If you apply my coupon code that is ABMPRO, you will be getting a 10% discount. So instead of 5,555, you will be getting at a discounted price of only 5,000. So what are the more benefits you will be learning in this course? So here you will be not only be focusing on your the syllabus which you cover in your school, like you're knowing about numbers. Okay. Along with that, you will be learning lot of lot of new things like your basic combinatorics, fractions, decimals, patterns, clocks, foldings, days, months, dates,
time money statement type questions and many thing which you will be learning even beyond your books okay and you will be also developing here a lot of things like we are focused on these students to help them to think the problem okay it's it's very helpful in thinking the problem pattern identification guessing work simplifying okay they will be developing your quick calculations techniques how to do the problem solving skills how to enhance the problem solving skills so there will be a all round development in your children okay so see you in this course till then bye bye take care thank you so much